Good evening. My name is Maria Mariano. I'm here in support of Monette Gavino. I know her to be a woman of integrity and substance. She loves teaching, is an active church member, a community volunteer, and like most single mothers, her priority are her two sons. I know that she was going through some work-related problems and that she was in a car accident. However, I did not realize the enormity of the burden until I got a text message a few days asking for support. We spoke on the phone and she was tearful. Monette has been quietly going through this emotional turmoil. What chances does she have when the city uses its resources against victims like her? The final straw came with the press releases and other stories deprecating her character. She needs to vindicate herself. I would like to remind everyone about Title VII of the Civil Rights Act of 1964 <coughs> that refers to unwelcome sexual advances, requests for sexual favors, and other verbal or physical conduct of a sexual nature that constitutes sexual harassment. More importantly, may I remind that under Title VII, it's also unlawful to retaliate against any individual for opposing employment practices that discriminate against based on sex or for filing charges, testifying, or participating in any way in an investigation, proceeding, or litigation. Tonight, we pay tribute to Anita Hill, whose case put the issue of workplace sexual harassment out in the open. This is why we are here, to do what's right and to seek justice for the oppressed. Monette may not have the funds, of the, the funds to fight city Carson, but she will not succumb to intimidations that will ruin her credibility. The critical issues are whether <coughs> the sexual harassment took place and the unlikely manner by which she was dismissed by the city. Monette may not have the day in court nor the media resources to counter the lies about her, but tonight she got to tell her story. <laughs> 